part 11. Now, this part is actually being recorded in April of 2020. Uh, the original Space Invaders series was programmed in 2015. It was posted in November, so it's been almost five years, and even to this day, this is still my most popular tutorial. If I had known it was going to be so popular, I would have done a better job with it. So what I want to do is kind of update it for Python 3, um, just do some basic updates based on a lot of the questions I've gotten over the last five years. Um, so let me show you what I have so far. Uh, I'm going to run this, and this is what it looks like. Okay, so we've got our player at the bottom. Um, I have to hit the arrow key each time to move, which is not true to the original. Um, the space evaders are kind of all kind of randomly. If I push the space bar, okay, it shoots, uh, which is yeah what we want to happen. This is this is working fine. And then you can see how the uh, invaders kind of reappear on the screen. It was really just a demo. It was one of the first things I'd ever really done with the Python Turtle module, and. Uh, yeah, again, if I'd known more, or I'd known better, or I'd known that this was going to take off so much, I would have done a much better job. It has almost a half a million views right now. Uh, just this this part of the tutorial, and the next one has a couple hundred thousand. Crazy popular. Um, and so, first, let me apologize for you know not finishing it and not doing a better job with it. So, uh, what I want to do today is with this one is to yeah move on. Um, do a little few updates based on some things I've learned since then, and uh, kind of get it look, look, looking a little better. So why don't we get started? Um, so what I want to work on today uh, is the Python 2 to Python 3. Now on my computer it works perfectly fine, Python 2, Python 3, it doesn't matter. Um, it is actually compatible with both versions, but I will show some of the changes. Um, there's another little thing that I'll, I'll show you, a little formatting thing. It's just, now it drives me nuts, but uh, I didn't know back then. I didn't know any better. Um, and what we'll do is we are going to change the movement of the player um, so that it moves more like Space Invaders. Uh, you, know, you push the right arrow, it just keeps moving. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is this. Um, the kind of preferred formatting for a comment is hashtag space. Um, you don't need it but it drives me nuts now that I look at it that I've been coding for much longer in Python. So I'm just going to go ahead. Now I'm using something called bbedit. Um, so your editor, whatever you're using, will have this function as well. Now this is something, it's Mac only. Um, I don't actually use this anymore, uh, but since I used it in the original tutorials, I thought I'd use it in this tutorial as well. So I'm just going to go to, uh, where is it, uh, search. I'm going to click find, and that's it, it'll be a little different on yours, possibly, if you're not using bbedit. And I'm going to search for hashtags, and I'm going to replace them with hashtag and a space. And then I'm going to click the replace all button. Okay, so you can see here, 34 occurrences of hashtag were replaced with hashtag space. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now, I made a change, um, and this is something I always tell my students. You made a change, and 34 lines were changed. Let's make sure we didn't screw anything up. So I'm going to go ahead and run it again. And you can see it's still running, you know, exactly as we expected. Oops, I missed that guy. Exactly as we expected before. Okay, so uh, next up is Python 2 to Python 3. Um, again, this works fine on my computer in Python 2 and Python 3. What I've found from uh, viewers is that uh, this part here where I register the shapes has been causing problems, particularly on PyCharm. Um, it's giving them warnings and saying this is not working, blah, 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 even though it does work just fine. Um, so the reasoning is that from Python 2 to Python 3, there was a change in the turtle module, and these certain methods that were part of the module itself originally are now part of the w screen object. Okay, so I use WN here. Uh, I should have used screen now that, you know, looking back, but it's too much to change. So when we register the shapes, we should use the window object, the WN in this case, and register the shapes then. We should also, down here, for the, where is it at here? For the keyboard bindings, same thing, WN and WN, WN, WN. Also, I should note that in Python 3, it is now on key press, even though on key still works, uh, but it is on key press. 
Okay, so, so I made a bunch of changes. I'm gonna test it and hopefully it will work the way it did. Okay, so so far so good. So again, there's there's really no change in functionality, but uh, it is updated a little bit more uh, Python Python three style. It does get stuck there sometimes. I never really figured that out, um, but yeah, you know, that's that's life. Um, one more Python three thing. Actually, a couple more Python three things. Um, one's very simple. It's way down here at the bottom. Um, I had put this in originally in the code uh, before I knew about win dot main loop. Um, I didn't know anything about that method five years ago. Now I do. Um, you could put win dot main loop. But if you notice, because um, there's a a while true loop here that runs forever, it's an infinite loop. Uh, this actually is never reached. Um, so you can just cut that out, and yeah, you don't even really need it anymore. So again, I'm going to test it, make sure, just in case. Okay, so everything's still working. Oops, missed that guy. I do want to tell they got me on that one. Yeah, I'm very terrible at my own game. Okay, so got one. Die. Anyway, and the last Python 3 thing I want to show you uh, is with the format method. Um, this was added, I forget when. Um, so we have this here, this score string. And this, again, it still works. Uh, there's nothing wrong with doing it this way, um, but it's kind of, you know, I don't know, passe for lack of a better term. So what I need to do now instead is I'm going to put here, I'm going to put some curly braces. I'm going to use dot format, and I'm going to put score there. Okay. And I think there's another place in the code. I'm going to copy that. Uh, there's another place in the code where we have that. Uh, where is it? Just kind of scrolling down here. Missed it, didn't I? Ah, there it is. Score string equals. That. And again, this is the current. Well, there's actually now a what? There's now f strings or something like that. Um, but this is a, a bit more of an updated thing. Um, so this might even be going on the way out. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, and by the way, I am running Python 3.8. So let me run that. And again, just making sure nothing changed. Okay, so the score is there. And the score is updating. So no errors. We are happy. Um, also, something um, I've noticed, people always ask me about this. When they close it, and then you get this error. Um, there, I think there's a way around it. I'll put that into a future video because I'm not sure how to do that. But it's not it's not a big deal. It's yeah, you know, the program's still running. Don't lose any sleep over it. Yeah, I get, I get a million questions about that, and the program's over. It's okay. Um, so the last thing I want to do. Um, so that was the Python three stuff. Uh, the last thing I want to do is to change the way the player moves. Um, like when I first made this, again, I did that stupid thing where you have to push the uh, arrow key each time, and I don't want it to work that way. So what I'm going to do is here where we got create the player turtle, and we've got this thing player speed. And again, I didn't know any better back then, but now I do. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to player dot speed. And I'm actually going to change that to, well, I'll leave it, I'll leave it 15 now for that. What I want to do, now watch what I do here, um, is when I push the left arrow, okay, I want to change the player speed okay, to, let's use minus 15. Okay. When I push the right arrow, I want to change player.speed to 15. So that's positive. Player speed is negative if you're moving left. And now what I need to do is make a new method called move. I'll call it move player. And I gotta define that. Okay, I'm gonna tab over. And back then also I was using tabs. Um, now I use spaces, but since it was already in tabs, I'm just gonna keep it as a tab. Um, so what I need to do is I'm gonna cut this out of here and I'm going to put it here. Now watch this carefully, because if you don't, you're going to get an error. Um, I'm going to get rid of the, uh, I'm going to cut that out also. Actually, I'm just going to cut this part out um, here, the border checking. And again, this is, you know, you should have gone through the whole uh, 
tutorial first before you got to this one. Um, this is this is in addition to a 10 part tutorial. Um, so if you're just tuning in now, go back to number one. Um, so move player. So here's what we want to do is we got to change that to plus. Okay. So what will happen is when we push the left arrow, it changes the player speed to minus 15. When we push the right arrow, it changes it to plus 15. And then what we want to do is we want to move the player every single time. Okay, so we take the x coordinate and add if it's right, plus 15. If it's left, it's going to end up being minus 15 and then setting the x. But what we got to do different in this one is we need to put here move player. Okay, and we could have put this at the end of this, but I just put it there for now. So I'm going to hit I'm going to run it and see what happens. Okay, so now I've got an error. Uh, okay, so I've again, this is the other thing with uh, people that watch my channel is they say I've got an error or my or they say my program's not working. Okay, uh, or I got an error. Well, what error do you have? There could be a hundred different errors. Okay, so it is telling you where the problem is. In this case, line 104. It's telling you what the problem is. Player speed is not defined. And if you recall, I just changed it to player dot speed. So that's line 104. So I'm gonna go to 104. And there we go. So I'm going to change it to player dot speed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run it again. Oops. Okay, it's running. Okay, so you can see how it went all the way over. I'm going to push the left arrow. Okay, right arrow, left arrow. So it's moving a little bit more like Space Invaders did back in the day. Okay. Um, the only thing I didn't like was when the game started, it was already moving. I don't remember if the original game was like that. It may very well be. Um, but what I want to do is I'm going to set the player speed to zero when the game starts. Okay, now I'm going to run it, and this is what I will see. Okay, so, so I can go ahead and push all the way to the right. Oops, missed it. So again, it's a little bit more, you know, accurate to the the way the original game was played. Okay. So that is that for this particular uh, video. Um, so this was part 11. Uh, we changed some things from Python 2 to Python 3. Um, we added a bit of an updated movement. So just a quick review: we changed turtle to wn for register shape. We changed turtle to WN for the keyboard bindings as well. Uh, we changed the, uh, let's see what else, the score string. We use the format method rather than the percent method. And again, they, they both work, uh, but this is a bit more updated. And there's other things you can do with the format method. And then we changed uh, the player speed variable, and we made it actually a part of the player object. If you don't know what that means, that's okay. Um, just a quick thing, this player speed is a method, this player speed is a variable. Um, so this just changes the built-in animation speed. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but just, you know, you need to put that where it runs really, really slowly. Um, and then this basically gets rid of this whole method, it is no longer accessible. So be careful, uh, here you're calling the method, and here you are making a variable. Um, so this has to come first, and then you can do this. Um, so I think that's it uh, for this one. So stay tuned, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch of aliens and make it look a bit more like the old school uh, Space Invaders in video 12. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, there's, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.